the PDU, the protocol data unit, in each layer contains the payload data that is being transmitted. And it's a common to prefix a header which contains information required for the payload data to be transmitted, such as the addresses of the source and destination nodes on the network to the payload data. So uh, sometimes the um, protocol data unit PDU also has a footer here uh, that is suffixed to the payload data and contains values needed to ensure correct transmission, such as error checking information. And here in this diagram, I uh, created how PDUs are laid out in the IPS. Remembering from the previous lectures, IPS means Internet Protocol Suite. Here. So uh, let's get started with the application layer here. So you can see here we have layer four, we have application, station, um, Internet layer and the link layer. Now I will explain all of these layers and their payloads, headers, one by one. So the TCP header contains a source and destination port number, which is here. Source and destination port number here. And these port numbers allow a single node to have a multiple unique network connections and port numbers for TCP and UDP uh, range from 0 to 65,535. Yeah. And the most uh, port numbers are assigned as needed to a new connections, but some numbers have been given a special assignment, such as the port 80 for HTTP. You can find the current list of assigned port numbers in the ETC services file on the most Unix-like operating system, but you can also check in from the Wikipedia from um, internet. And a TCP payload and header are commonly called a segment, whereas a UDP payload and header are commonly called a datagram. The IPA protocol uses a source and destination headers. The destination address lost the data to be sent to a specific node on the network and the source address lost the receiver of the data to know which node sent the data and lost the receiver to reply to the sender. IPv4 uses 32-bit addresses, which you will typically see written as a four number separated by dots, such as this. 192.168.192.168. Here. 10 and 1. So this is an example. IP version 4. IP address and IPv6. Actually, let me not write here. Uh, IP version 4. So, but the IPv6 here, IPv6 uses 128 bit addresses because 32 bit addresses aren't sufficient for the numbers of nodes on the modern networks. IPv6 addresses are usually written as a hexadecimal number separated by colons, such as, for example, FA80000 4 times 0 here. Actually, let me increase the size it here. 000 and so this is an example IPv4, IPv6 address. Long strings of um, 4 times 0, as you can see here, we've written like that. Long strings of uh, 0, 0, 0 numbers are collapsed into two columns. For example, if uh, you want to write, write this IPv, IP, IP version 6 number uh, easily, you can also write like this. For example, 1, 2, 3. 
So one, two, three. Here. Ethernet also contains source and destination address. Source and destination address. Ethernet uses a 64 bit value called a media access control address, which is typically set during a manufacture of the Ethernet adapter. And you will usually see MAC addresses written as a series of hexadecimal um, numbers separated by dashes or colons. Uh, for example, MAC address reads, uh, writes like this for example, 0a with dashes we will separate here 28 99 3 a 5 so this is an example media access control address and the ethernet payload uh, including the header and footer is commonly referred as frame 